In this lesson, we will finally set up our working environment for Laravel development. First things first, we need to install XAMPP or WAMP, which include PHP, MySQL Server and Apache Web Server. There is barely no difference between those two, but I will use XAMPP because I got used to it. Let's head over to Google and search for XAMPP. Once download is completed, we can start the installation process, which should be easy and straightforward. All right, so once installation is done, uh, we can try to see if it works. Open XAMPP control panel and try to start the Apache and MySQL services. Great, it works perfectly. Now we need to install Composer, dependency manager for PHP, which will allow us to install Laravel. Composer is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and on their download page, there's detailed instructions on how to install it. Easiest one is for Windows. Just download Composer Setup and follow the installation process. Great. Now if you type composer minus age in the command prompt, you should be able to see something like this. Finally, head over to laravel.com and go to installation part of their documentation. Here you can see what are server requirements for Laravel to work. But don't worry, 
we have them all ready. Scroll over to Composer Installation. Now simply copy and paste installation command in the CMD. Great, installation is done. Now restart your CMD and check if Laravel command works. If you get output like this, it means you are good to go. Now to create a new Laravel project, navigate to the htdocs folder in XAMPP and create a new Laravel project using Laravel command. By typing Laravel new blog, Laravel installer will create a new project in the folder blog. First Laravel creation may take few minutes as it's downloading and installing all the necessary packages. As we can see, application is ready. Now let's download and install text editor. I highly recommend using Atom or PHP Storm. Great. Now open your Laravel project folder in Atom. <laughs> 